three. Okay, so we are here with Nick Johnson, who is the founder and the, of Useful Social Media, and we are at the Corporate Social Media Summit 2010. It's been spectacular. Uh, day two, and Nick, we would love to know, and everyone is asking because it's been such a success, um, why this conference? Why a conference specifically about corporate social media? Well, I think the reason it's a success is, is very closely linked to that. I don't think there are other conferences like this out there. Um, I think that the focus that we had here was specifically on a corporate audience. Uh, so it's specifically on um, you know, big businesses, big brands, and how they deal with social media. Because obviously this is something that you can't avoid. And one of the common refrains from the conference is, you know, you've got to be involved in the conversation, whether you want to be or not. Um, and there are a lot of companies that are just dipping their toe in this, and they don't really know what they're doing. So I think having um, other corporates that have been there and done that, up on stage saying this is what we've done, this is what's worked well, this is what hasn't worked so well, um, has been valuable for people. Um, we spotted that as, a, as an area that people might find useful, and we thought, let's go ahead, let's run something, see what happens, and, and it seems to have been a success, which is great. Well, you make it look easy, because you managed <laughs> to get some of the biggest names in mm. corporate, big brand corporations, I mean, worldwide, I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, so how difficult was that? I mean, well, it's, I mean, I've, I've been organising conferences in different areas for a while, um, so you know the sort of things that you need to do, and, and, the, and the big success, the big, the big thing that made this a success, rather, was that we got on board uh, some really good, well-respected people early, so people like Bill Delaney from Whole Foods Market and people like Kelly Feller from, from Intel came on board early on, and once you get those first people, you get the ball rolling, mm -hmm. then it's a bit of a snowball effect and you can get more coming. And I think that tied in with, with an agenda that people seem to like, that seems to be useful and seems to, to, to address people's key concerns, meant that, that bringing on uh, other speakers and, and getting a better community around this um, worked well. I wouldn't say it was easy, but, but it was doable and, and, and we managed to achieve that. So in, I noticed that you also, it, it's not a huge conference, it's very manageable, maybe 250 people, um, attendees, was that you, you set out for that number, did you want more? I mean, well it becomes, what? I suppose it becomes a different animal, I mean if you get up to a conference that's a thousand people, mm -hmm. you get different things out of it, and it can be an advantage, you know, you, you, the, the network connections I'm sure would be brilliant if you've got a thousand people, but the thing that we've got here is we've got a community of, of 200 or so uh, corporations who are wanting to learn and they're all there in one room and they all get to learn from each other um, and I think if we were bigger than this that that uh, uh, that level of, of corporations uh, as compared to maybe service providers and, and, and industry analysts and that sort of thing would be diluted and because it's this number we, we've got a really high percentage of people from those big businesses and that encourages the sharing and the learning I think that we've seen over the two days innovation which is great um, that's great this question may be a little difficult but I want to ask it the gurus yes yes we notice that there are no social media gurus yes. and, and we don't dislike them they have their place as well yeah. but there are yeah. big names out there and they're at all the conferences and they, they teach you know people how to do social media why didn't you get some of these big names on the panel well I mean one because <laughs> They're everywhere, <laughs> you know, and, and you know that's 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 not a, a unique selling point, and, 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 and I think people can get that in other places. And two, because if if you're running a conference on on this sort of topic, that what I found from the research that we did was that companies would find it most useful to hear from their peers and hear from people that have done this and have faced the same problems. Social media gurus. You know, there are plenty of things they can say, and, and, and a lot of it can be very, very useful, but their focus is not necessarily on how a corporate can use social media to do their job better. It's on what is interesting about social media, what's next around the corner, and that sort of thing. And that's a slightly different target audience, and that's not what we were looking for. And I, I wanted to make sure that the uh, corporates coming to the conference were confident that the people they would hear from would be able to speak directly to them, not to just sort of social media in general, which is such a huge area. Right. Mm -hmm. And ironically, uh, based on the tweets, um, the average person who would go to those cor uh, conferences and hear the gurus have been getting a lot out of the tweets and information mm -hmm. today. So exactly. it's, mm -hmm. they're learning from these experts who they, they normally yeah. wouldn't have access to. Yeah. So that brings me to your social media agenda for the sure. conference. Sure. Um, <laughs> because if it's a you know, social media summit, how did you go about approaching social media 
for the event. Well, it's been it's been really interesting actually because I mean for us to start this, obviously, we're, useful social media is is a, a new brand for us. Uh, it's not something that we have a tremendous amount of of. Uh, of uh, cachet, there aren't that many people that know the name. So social media was was absolutely vital in getting our message out there. Uh, what we did was we we, we put together a uh, white paper initially, which was based on some of the research I'd done, um, and which included um, interviews with with various people, various people like um, uh, Dell, I think, and contributed to that, and PepsiCo, and, and other people that have ended up speaking on the panel, um, and did some case studies on them. We distributed that for free. Um, and people started to learn about us and I was then able to say look we're also doing a conference which is on very similar topics to that that was covered in the um, in in the uh, white paper and then as well as that we've obviously been tweeting about the conference quite a lot there's, there's a Facebook group and we've used you guys at so fresh to, to help over the course of the, the, the two days and have done a tremendous job in, in getting the message out there with the, with the video and with, with the tweets that you've done too um, I think had we not taken social media on board fully and in a conference to market social media we would look like uh, <laughs> like charlatans um, so, so we kind of had to do it um, one, one thing that, that, that we did do that I think made, made some people uh, in our organisation have, have kittens to, to a certain extent was um, I, I did all my marketing for the conference I measured the results from my uh, email marketing and from my, from my physical marketing and uh, social media marketing um, and the social media stuff I then I then put the results up online in a blog um, and compared how the, the marketing the traditional marketing went compared to the social media stuff and put those results out there um, and that I think got a pretty good response from the people that read it and you know who, who knows maybe people will continue it's like reading someone's show. diary exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you what is I mean after all of that what did you kind of what did the numbers tell you after you kind of sat back and looked at the traditional marketing versus well social media was 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 very very useful and 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 there are people here that i'm fairly confident have only come because of the social media i mean i focus my marketing on a u.s audience because obviously we're based in the u.s and, and, and a lot of speakers we've got are, are u.s based but uh, obviously social media doesn't respect geographical boundaries um, and we had people here there are people here from denmark there are people here from japan from all over the world and i'm fairly confident they've come here because they've seen stuff via social networks as well as that traffic to, to our site has, has been boosted tremendously through through the tweets through through giving documents away for free and I think it follows the rule that has been repeated again and again and again in terms of uh, content is king it's, it's absolutely vital to put out stuff that is useful to people um, and hopefully we did that with the white paper and various interviews we did pre-conference um, and that that meant a lot more traffic to our site a lot more people reading about the event and then Okay. okay. Two, two more questions, because I know we've had you for a while, and sure. you're in demand here. So, <laughs> the other question is: Now that you have this event, which has been very successful, and everyone is very pleased with it, and um, where do you see the conference going from here? I mean, this is the first year. Yeah. So, where does it go from yeah, here? Yeah, this is the first one, and and I mean, first off, it, this one seems to have been successful, so you want to do this one again. Yes. Um, <laughs> as well as that, obviously, this is East Coast, and a lot of the people here are from East Coast. Right. So, perhaps we'll do something on the West Coast as well. We'll do some research, see whether it looks. Like there's a market there for that um, and in November on the 17th and 18th I think it is we're looking to do a very similar show uh, for a European audience based in London um, so there'll be more stuff up about that on the website as and when we have it we're just doing the research now bringing on board speakers uh, we might potentially look then at, at other areas this is marketing and commerce focus we may look at, at customer service we might look at product development but that's what's based around the okay and since you have seen it all uh -huh. you've here for two days and you've been doing this for months and where do you see, because we know we're in the beginning phases of social media and analytics and, you know, we've heard a lot of kind of problems that we need to solve. Yeah. Um, how close do you think we are to kind of having some sort of consensus on social media and metrics and, I mean... Well, I don't know. I think one of the things that, that seems to have come out of the conference is that it's different for different people. Yeah. One of the big challenges uh, that I found people were having when I was doing the research for this was it's not only the metrics and the measurement, it's deciding in the first place what you want to measure. And you know, there's, there's this question of ROI and whether it's, uh, whether it's how, how you get ROI from social media. But there's another question above that, which is, is it worth looking for ROI? I mean, are you missing the point? If, if all you're doing is saying, what, is, what dollars and cents do I get from this? And should we be looking at customer engagement, et cetera, et cetera? And I know that uh, the guys at Fleischmann did, did a, a really interesting presentation on that topic with, with Intuit as well. Um, so I think that is that is that is a key challenge, and I think unless a company is clear as to exactly what they want to achieve with social media, 
uh, they're going to struggle to progress any further than sort of towing the water, pushing stuff out there. So that's, I think, the key challenge from, from me. It's almost like know yourself. Exactly. And exactly. Hard. And once you've done that, you know, the, the, the sky's the limit and yeah. there's plenty more to do. Okay. Well, you have been wonderful. This is com Thank you so much for having Surfresh Media. No problem. It's Thank you very much for coming. Great. We look forward <laughs> to your next conference yes. um, at Useful Social, right, um, is the Twitter. Yeah, and yeah. So thank you very much. No problem. Thanks very much.